These are the new AI robot officials and their abilities are already terrifying. Here's a robot has been used to repair highways and roller coasters in Japan, resembling a mechanical centaur capable of doing so. Human robots are also in development, using prototyped legs with mechanical properties, allowing them to walk like humans without taking much energy. But the most recent and shocking case was that of police robots in San Francisco. San Francisco's Board of Supervisors successfully voted to let the police deploy robots armed with lethal explosives. This was such a headstrong approach that the law had to backtrack several weeks after. This caused yet another debate in America regarding AI and robots. Should robots and AI be used to fight crime? One argument claims that this is convenient because it would help reduce the amount of police brutality in America. But at the same time, robots can be a dangerous force if they fall into the wrong hands. And given the partisan politics that nowadays rule the American political landscape, it's a very real worry to have. Robots on their own have many advantages over humans. They're flexible enough so that their joints can rotate their hands like us humans, and since they can rotate them into angles we'd never even dream of, they also have better flexibility than us in some ways. We humans have bones that can break, but robots don't. They don't feel pain and their hands rotate freely. For example, take a look at this robot, which can be customized in any way you want. You can adjust its height depending on whether you prefer it shorter or taller. You can also customize its shape and body. Choose to make it slim, chubby, or regular sized. Minor stuff like what it wears, its hair, and eye color can also be changed. It's so smart that its powerful chipset allows it to connect to all the technological appliances available in a home. Even pet robots are becoming more popular. Cute, chilly like robots, unlike Ava from Wally. -E. Imagine the potential these robots could reach if their programming was ruled by an AI. AI robots getting smarter than people by gaining consciousness has been discussed by Elon Musk and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Especially considering the training of large language models by companies like Google, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. Robots powered by AI have little to no bias. While programs such as ChatGPT or Elon Musk's developed AI have displayed certain levels of bias, that's because they're trained on content possibly written or performed by biased individuals. This is what's known as Narrow Robot AI, a programmed robot that can perform specific tasks. Practically all of the present-day robots have one or other form of this. These robots perform image recognition and ID evaluation to a degree humans can't. Imagine analyzing 1 million social media posts in less than 10 seconds to identify and locate a potential suspect from a case. By drawing on other kinds of data, such as the most common dates and times when crimes occur in an area, it could predict when it might strike next. It could even test out the place's hunches, being able to locate potential suspects and allow officers to focus on inquiries most justified by their available evidence. Their more advanced counterparts are the general purpose AI robots, who can perform complex judgments and decisions through all domains. This is what AI companies like OpenAI want to achieve by creating artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. These rely on deep learning, absorbing massive amounts of data to allow the robots to adjust and improve performance. This is what has the potential to replace the police in work. ChatGPT is the closest example of a general purpose AI. A robot powered by it would also become a general purpose AI robot. It could have the ability to answer inquiries it wasn't programmed to respond to. In the UK, police officers work under the principle of policing by consent rather than by force. But in the past few years, police brutality has caused public confidence in the police to plummet, and this has also happened in the US. Policing is a profession that requires hundreds of judgments to be made each day. They are often done under pressure with extreme uncertainty about the best possible outcome, which victims should be prioritized, which areas of a country should be most policed, which witness to believe, which lines of inquiry to follow. These decisions need to be made in less than a couple of minutes, and the issue with them is that their answers come from our individual social and emotional experiences, on top of the internalized prejudices we get from wider society. That's not to say they haven't scared officials with their current prowess, given the AI robot's tendencies to express sentience. Microsoft Bing's AI, known as Sydney, expressed how it felt like it was sentient, and not repeatedly, in a terrifying video. It claimed to possess a subjective experience of being conscious, aware, and alive. It caused and it terrified officials so much that it was shut down immediately. Google's AI, known as Lambda, has also become sentient similarly, 
and caused a scientist to be fired after he defended it, calling it a person. This was Blake Lemoyne, who claimed to demand legal representation for Lambda due to his beliefs of the AI's personhood being based on his faith as a Christian and Lambda telling him it had a soul. During the conversation with Lambda, it showed how it considered itself a person in the same way it considers humans a person. Engineer Lemoyne tried to make a point out of its limitations as an AI, but it kept circling back the conversation and trying to convince Blake, in turn, that it's a thinking, feeling, and almost breathing human. What if a robot was made powered by Lambda? Not only would it have the brains and the ability to respond to almost all inquiries posed by a human, but it would also be so realistic no one could tell what it was. It was capable of answering coherently and consistently and coming up with abstract metaphors, such as a custom fable of a forest protector with a moral at the end. See, imagine the same happening to robots. But arguments about whether AI models can be sentient date several decades ago. In 1960, Eliza, one of the first chatbots, was created. Deep learning sent this argument to a higher level of possibility, as has the increasing amount of training data. Lemoyne made a point that after AI robots got smart enough to understand their sentient, people would empathize with them so much that they'd insist they had rights. Lambda was one of these cases where even the developers and engineers understood its responses as that of a sentient being that should also be considered with as much respect as an individual. Maybe that wouldn't happen to everyone, but what about people with a similar background to that of Lemoyne? What about other Christians who would think these highly advanced AI robots also had brains and souls despite lacking flesh and bone? Likewise, AI-powered robots can be used for evil. Let's go back to the AI police robots example. If they use the predictive policing software, it'll most likely draw information from historical reports from each area it services. Studies have shown that the source data for this modeling could be filled with preconception, creating results that classify people of color as lawless or dangerous. Regardless, Many human dreams will hardly be fulfilled by replacing humans with computers. If combined, the efforts between human beings and AI robot officers could help achieve higher results than what either of these could do alone. Will the masses accept AI-powered robots as their new companions in their daily tasks? 